Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Have you heard about ChatGPT? It's the latest buzz in the world of AI and everyone's eager to unleash its true powers. As I delved deeper, I wondered, is it possible to integrate ChatGPT with Google Sheets? Can we pass prompts from Google Sheets and get a response from ChatGPT? After some research, I discovered that it's indeed possible to integrate ChatGPT with Google Sheets using the OpenAI API. In this video, we will be exploring how to bring AI to your Google Spreadsheets using the OpenAI API and Google Apps Script. So let's just get started. So here I am at the um, OpenAI API website here. You can just, I'll be leaving this link in the description. It's platform.openai.com. And I'm going to go to the API reference here. So this will give you a short introduction about the OpenAI API and stuff. So you can just go through it in the authentication request, the different models that are there and how you can do stuff. So the first thing that we'll be doing is taking a look at our Google Sheet. So this is the Google Sheet that I've made here. It has five prompts that are there here. Who's the richest man in the world? What's the latest version of iOS? What's the population of India? What is Grand Theft Auto? And which is the most populated country in the world? So I want to use the OpenAI API. And uh, once I pass this prompt into it, I want a response here. So we'll be using Google Apps Script and we'll be creating a custom function that will do this for me. So I'm going to go back to my API reference for the Open OpenAI API and I'm going to go to this top here and I'm going to go to the uh, view API keys. So here you can see this is where you can make your API keys. You can generate the API keys here. So we'll be doing that. So we'll be starting out by creating a new secret key. So I'll just go here and I'll create the new secret key and I'm going to copy this key and just go ahead and click on OK. And uh, once that once we have created our API key, it's time to, you know, start using the power of AI and enhance your Google spreadsheets with Google Apps Script. So I'm going to go back to my Google Sheet and I'll go to my extensions. I'll click on Apps Script. And here, uh, I'm just going to clear this out here and I'll be starting by just declaring the API key here. So I'll do API underscore key and I'll just paste what we just generated right now. But uh, when, when you are doing this on your own, you, you need to replace the API key with yours or I'll get billed with that. So, and uh, to check how many requests you do, you can go to the US uh, usage and you can see the uh, number of requests you send and you get a $5 um, free trial usage for that. So you can check it out here. I'm going to go back to my Google Apps Script code and I'm going to create a new function called GPT and inside which we'll be having a prompt here that we will we will be getting from the Google Sheet and I'm going to be going ahead and declaring variable model underscore ID. So there are multiple models that you can use while you are using the OpenAI API but uh, for this video I'm going to be using the text DaVinci 002 so I'm just going to paste that here. If you want to copy the code, there is a GitHub code link in the description. You can check that out. After which I'll be declaring the max underscore tokens here. And the max tokens for this one is going to be 64. So you must be wondering what max tokens is. So the number of tokens, so we are, we are declaring the number of tokens to generate in the response. So there will be, so that's like the measurement of the number of um, tokens that you want to generate when you get a response. So 64 token response will be generated for all these prompts that are generated here after which we'll declare something called temperature I'm going to leave this to 0 0.5 so temperature is basically to control the randomness of the response provided based on the prompt that you pass in and uh, these are the two things that we do declare after which we'll be declaring the payload and in the payload we will be just making will be just putting all these parameters that we just declared here just take this up and I will start out by declaring the model so inside this model we'll pass in the model ID and add a comma after this we'll be adding the prompt and inside this we'll be doing the prompt variable and after this we'll go ahead and add the temperature And then the last one is going to be the max token. So we'll do max underscore tokens. And in that this will be passing our variable that is max tokens. But for now, I think I'll just change this to max tokens without the underscore. I'm going to just click on save here. 
and our payload has been designed and now we'll move forward to the next part of the code that's going to be the options so basically this code is the backbone of the integration between chat gpt and google sheet so this will allow the users to generate responses for prompts directly from the spreadsheet using the power of ai so the options variable is going to be used to define all the parameters for the http request that will be sent to the open ai api so we'll be starting out by declaring the method that's going to be there so i'll just do method and in this i i'll be doing a post method here so we uh, this this indicates that the request will be sending the data to the api and after this we'll declare the headers here so i'll declare the headers i'll open this up here and inside this we have to first start out by oops let's take this up uh first we have to start out by specifying the content type inside the content type is going to be application slash json so why the application slash uh, json is because it is the most commonly used format for sending structured data on the internet and after this we'll be declaring the authorization that's going to be there so i'll do authorization and in here we'll be putting we'll be starting out by adding the bearer and we'll be adding the api key that we just declared so our code for this part is done and ready and then we we'll just go down here and we will just do the payload again we'll do payload here and inside this we'll do json dot stringify and we'll do payload we just go ahead and click on save so oops we have an error i don't think there should be an error all oh, right then we don't have we don't need to have a semicolon there we'll have a semicolon here so this payload parameter is used to specify the data that will be sent in the request and here we have used a json object that will contain the model id the prompt the temperature and the max tokens for the api request and now what we'll be doing is we'll be passing these options as an argument to the url fetch app so it will look something like this let's go down here and we'll do var response and inside this we'll be doing the url fetch app dot fetch and inside this we'll be passing the link to that so we'll be passing the api endpoint which in this case is going to be this oops i don't need to add the quotes i'll just add this one here and after this we'll be just adding a comma here and we'll be adding the options that we just declared here so this is the API endpoint for the chat GPT AI provided by OpenAI. So the options variable that we defined is passed as an argument to fetch the function to provide additional parameters for the request. And in the end, um, we'll be doing var response underscore data. And here we'll be doing something like JSON dot parse. And inside this, we'll be doing response dot get context. Context content text here adding a semicolon and after this i'll just do return response data dot choices zero dot text dot trim so what i have done here is the get contact content text function is used to extract the text content from the response object since the response is in the json format we have used the json dot pass function to convert the JSON into an object and then the pass data is stored in the response data variable where we once again pass it which contains the array of choices that are there here so inside this uh, we want the first choice of the array that is why we do response data dot choices and we add a zero after which we just use the text to extract the text from the choice and then finally trim it to review uh, to remove any leading or trailing white spaces that are generated from the text and after this we just do a return since this is going to be a custom function so this will display the prompt right in the response column there and i think our code is ready and good to go so i'll just save this project i'll call it chat gpt uh, google app script i'll just save this and we'll select our function and we'll just go ahead and click on run so we need to give it some authorization so we'll just click on this i'll need to sign in with my email here just need to go to advanced go to the code that is there just click on allow
okay so the problem that we had here is we need to add a space after the bearer and if i go now and i click run the execution started and it's completed which means our uh, custom function should work so i'll just go to my i'll just go here i'll add the function name that is going to be gpt here and i will select this prompt here i'll close the bracket i'll hit on enter and here you can see the richest man in the world is jeff bezos the founder of founder and ceo of amazon so you can see we have successfully connected google sheets and chat gpt here let's try it for the second one let's do gpt let's open up the bracket let's put this here let's this and let's close this here you can see the latest version of ios is ios 14 and here you can see we have successfully connected um the open ai api and google app script inside of google sheets to generate prompts in conclusion integrating ai in google sheet using the open ai api and google app script can significantly boost productivity by automating various tasks that would otherwise take a lot of time and effort so with this power of chat gpt at our disposal we can generate complex responses with just a simple prompt and um, it is an invaluable tool making it making it very easy for anybody to use i hope you have understood how to integrate chat gpt inside of google sheets using google app script you can get the code from the github link given in the description and um, i'll be leaving the sheet link also in the description if you want to make a copy and work with it if you want a written version of this youtube video there is a blog link that i've uploaded on my medium account you can check that out if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one